The technology gods do not want us talking about Becky Lynch. Mm, I don't blame them. I'd, I'd make a joke, but these things happen. Eh, I'm all right. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but it is true that uh, at least as of this weekend, uh, Becky Lynch is a heel now. Oh, come on! Okay. Yes. Now, if I may... I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but they tried this like uh, three years ago or whatever, and it was an abject, like, impossible failure, and they had to go back. So, I mean, here's the thing. There's a chance, okay? There's a chance that between now and Friday, somebody is going to smarten up, and uh, they're going to change their mind, and Becky's going to be a baby face, okay? There is a chance that that happens. So, but but I want to make this abundantly clear. If SmackDown goes on the air and Becky Lynch is a babyface, and they continue to book her as a babyface, I don't want to hear, and I know I will, but I don't want to hear one person saying that we were wrong about this, okay? Because multiple, multiple sources in WWE and multiple outlets have been reporting as well that as of this weekend, the plan was for her to be a heel, okay? That absolutely, positively, there's no ifs, ands, or buts, okay? 100% legitimate. I stake my my stellar reputation for news on this, everybody. But they could change your mind. They should change your mind. Because this is an unfathomably stupid idea, all right? So remember when, when uh, and here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, all right? The impression that I've strongly been given is that this was not a reaction to the reaction to what happened at SummerSlam. I'm not talking about when she came out and everybody lost their minds and cheered and everything like that. But the like, if you remember what actually happened, and I, and I remember this because I was talking on multiple shows about how stupid it was, Becky comes out, Becky says, let's tear the house down, Becky then proceeds to it one move and immediately pin Bianca Belair. And and what do we talk about? We talked about how they killed Bianca, how they buried Bianca, how Bianca had been Bianca or whatever the term you want to use, Kofi or whatever. We talked about how stupid this was, that a baby face would come out and vow to tear the house down, do one move, which by the way, the move was shake hands, yank her into a punch, and then hit her move. So that was a cheap thing for Becky to do. I mean, we were talking about how stupid this was for a baby face to do this. Well, if you watch it with the idea that she's a heel and the idea that we're supposed to feel sympathy for Bianca Belair, well, then you realize that this was this, this idea of making her a heel was not a reaction to people being upset on the Internet afterwards, but it was the plan. Their plan was to bring back Becky Lynch and go heal with her right out of the gate. Why would you do this? Anybody? Can anybody explain this to me? No one? Radio silence? Dude, I realize that, you know, I'm going back 20-something years, but that's all they do is go back 20-something years, so it's fair. Do you guys remember when Steve Austin turned heel? What that did to WWE business when they turned Steve Austin heel? Well, I mean, I watched all those shows, and believe me, from, from an artistic standpoint... Steve Austin as a heel was fantastic. He was a fantastic heel, okay? From a business standpoint, they fell off a cliff. Why? Well, let me explain something to everybody. It's okay to take a top baby face and turn them heel. As long as you have another massive baby face to replace them. Well, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but when when Steve Austin turned heel, they had The Rock, and The Rock, who could have theoretically replaced him in that role, he left for Hollywood. So, in fact, 
They replaced their massive number one, by far top babyface with nobody. So when we think about Becky Lynch, where was Becky Lynch? If you look at like all of the baby faces in WWE, okay, all of the current baby faces, correct me if I'm wrong, they were all here and she was like up there, right? Am I wrong about this? I'm not you're wrong, not. okay? No, no all right. you're not. So, so if you've got someone who's up here and everybody else is here, in what universe do you take this person and put them down here if you don't have another person that's going to go up there? Well, the person apparently that's going to be way up there is like it's Bianca Belair. I love Bianca Belair. She's awesome. In in what universe? In what parallel universe is she as over as a babyface Becky Lynch? None. None that I'm aware of. Okay, so what else do we got? Uh, there's who? Natty. Um. Help me out here. Who else do we have? Who it's, else do we have? That's, is Tony that's Storm in that a heel? We don't know that yet, right? Which, I mean, she dropped off the face of the planet. Uh, it ain't okay. Nikki Ash, I can tell you that, because she got booed out of the building at uh, Man- SummerSlam. Mandy? Mandy, it's not Mandy. No. Uh, Mandy's on the other uh, the other yeah. brand. Not Sasha? Uh, Sasha Brooke? is no. not where uh, Becky Lynch was. No. I mean, who do we have? We have nobody. Sasha Banks, so, um, excuse me, Becky Lynch is one of the biggest stars, men or women, in the entire company. Period. And as noted, yeah, Sasha was was a heel, so, I mean, that doesn't even count. <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for the top baby face, don't choose a heel. That's a bad argument. Who do they have? They got nobody. And so your plan right out of the gate is to take, like, one of the few people that actually is up here and put him down here. That's your plan? Whatever. Who cares? I, honest to God, when I heard about it, I laughed. I don't care. I don't care. But I am flabbergasted. I am stunned. And the lack of common sense exhibited by the people running this company. But whatever, who cares? Maybe maybe like Vince will wake up on Wednesday and go, What are we doing? Whose idea was this? Was well, your idea, Vince? What? No, it wasn't. And we go back to her being a baby face again. Anyway, whatever, who cares? Honestly, who cares? Does anybody care? Yeah, there's a lot of people who care who are really big fans of Bianca Belair and who feel betrayed or disappointed or whatever it is right now. And, you know, they're being told, well, you got to see how things are going to play out. And they're being told to wait on that. But, you know, you just look at this and you, I just, I'm, I'm baffled because, like we were talking about yesterday, here was a chance to bring back Becky in a panic move, but you bring back Becky. Okay, great. It's a chance to make Bianca Belair bigger. You already have Sasha, who whenever she comes back is laying in wait as a heel. You have Carmella, who, look, she's not great, but I like Carmella as far as being the person to get all of the heat. She's Disco Inferno. She's the honky-tonk man in some ways. I mean, she is there to be booed against people. Like, you have people to be booed. You have so few heroes, and you have so few people who are over to the level that Becky Lynch is, where you need to bring people up with them. It's like, you know, I, I know I'm old, so I go back to Dusty, but like Dusty with the Rock and Roll Express and Magnum and Barry Windham having these people around so when like it's time for Barry to turn okay yeah you you have somebody there who can go and and go ahead and face off with them it's just it's just they took something again we talked about how simple the story was with Ilya and with Walter and then you have a story that's so simple here and they fumble it away for heat because Bianca's going to be better off in the long run. The bottom line of all of that is no matter what their thought process is, it was like the last time around with Becky. Nobody wanted it. And that's the other thing about the Austin thing was the fact that, yeah, you can flip somebody if you have somebody ready. But if the fans aren't ready and the fans feel betrayed they're going to revolt. And that's exactly what happened the last time around with Becky. And what makes this, what is going to make this any different? It will still boggle my mind. It, it, it boggles my mind with Seth that they decided to bring him back as a baby face when they had a whole dynamic there ready for him to face off against Roman Reigns again on the baby face side of the ledger. They decided not to do that. Now you're going to go ahead and double down on that family by bringing her back as somebody that nobody wanted to boo. Hey, it, it, it's their company. You know, they're, uh, I don't know if Vince is aware of this or not. Maybe someone could smarten him up. They're not in the Thunderdome anymore. So, like, they don't have, the, I mean, they have a yay boo button, but 
I mean, do you, does anyone listening to this right now think that if they wanted to, they could have turned down that uh, 45,000 people in the stadium at SummerSlam if they didn't want her to be cheered? Of course not. Like, you can attempt to sweeten the crowd, but there's only so much you can do. I mean, you can try to pipe in booze or turn the audience down, but when everyone's jumping up and down and going like this because a baby face came back, you're trying to hide that. Good luck with that. I mean, we've already seen what happened the last time they tried to turn Becky Lynch heel. I, I, I presume I could be wrong. I mean, maybe the remaining fans are like, you know, such lemmings that they'll just boo her because they're supposed to. But my guess is they ain't going to go for this. And so, you know what happens when you have a heel that people aren't going for it, feuding with somebody that you want to be like a big-time babyface? Well, what happens is you get the wrong reactions. Everyone's going to stop caring about Bianca. They're only going to care about Becky Lynch. Eventually, WWE is just going to give up on the heel turn and go back to her being a babyface again. And, you know, then, I don't know. It's not even like, it's not even hindsight. It's like foresight. And we've seen this happen before. What are they thinking? Back in a moment. Observer Live. Giant Singh and Giant Silva. Wow. It's probably just as cool as buy a Dave Meltzer a Hiroshi Tanahashi autograph. What? I went to a Ring of Honor show with, it was Jeremy Botter, Dave Meltzer, myself. Well, there's Hiroshi Tanahashi. I went up, I introduced him. You know Dave Meltzer? Yeah, this is him. So, oh, oh, Dave Meltzer, Wrestling Observer. And I'm like, do you guys want a picture? He goes, yeah, $20. <laughs> so. Ha <laughs> ha! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.